become bigger and function for both this building and that building. The, the golf house is intended to function as just a, as if it were attached, but a detached part of the great house. So this drop will function for both, both buildings. So when you arrive with your clients or arrive as a member, um, you will come in here, drop clubs, or drop here right in front. Okay? So this, this is the main entry. This is your main covered, covered entry. And notice, especially maybe where, Cor, or, uh, where Danny and, and Bob are at, notice that the windows on the right, you can see through the building. That, that is purposeful and will remain uh, with the glazing there. So as you arrive into the drop here, you will be able to see right through the building, right through the courtyard there. You have the offices off to the right. Um, or office, one office, and then uh, the golf simulator uh, room is, is on this side. Great job on that, huh? This is exciting, Jerry. This is a, uh, th this room, so you, you know, you, there'll be a little lobby, a little reception area there. A, a lot of times we'll likely have Stubs up there. That's uh, all the utilities, water uh, shoved up for the bar, uh, and uh, the soft seating up against up against the window there, and then some harder seating in here, and then here. These doors open to your courtyard, protected courtyard on both sides. A little bit of cover out there. We'll walk out there eventually. There's a little bit of cover on the entryway there. fireplace out there, outdoor fireplace, and some, some really great um, patio soft seating and some four top tables to dine and enjoy out there. And all of this building is going to get a lot of views, but this room and out here is where it's going to, it, it will always be good. really dramatic, large, rustic fireplace right here that will have a little bit of edginess to it that um, maybe some of the also an outdoor dining terrace uh, that's covered um, right out here. So that's what this little 
about 400 square feet is outside here. Um, it will have a couple tables and some other soft seating. Really purposeful that this is social with the 10th tee. Okay, your food on the turn is right here to Chewy's left. Okay, so all turn service and any of the things that um, we do today out of golf uh, for service of golf will move to right here. Um, and so any of that turn service will be right here. It has a little courtyard that also can be uh, seated for walk up traffic uh, outside of the golf. But very social to the 10th tee, so that the golf cart path will come up here very close, you'll come out, um, and then you'll have an event lawn and an extension of the 10th tee that will come really close to the edge of this building. So the building almost feels like it's right, right on the 10th tee. And in fact, we call that the 10 tee patio, because that's exactly, that's exactly where it is. Cool. It's actually fairly similarly set up as the lodge kitchen. Um, uh, the, all the freezers, refrigerator, walk-ins are all in the back, and then a, and then a small chef's office, uh, also very similar to the lodge kitchen. Although I think this one is set up uh, ex extremely well for efficiency. Uh, Nancy's at, at the dish pit right now. Uh, we are in the uh, men's locker room. Yeah. So this is. Uh, this is just a little gathering space inside the men's locker room. Uh, there's a door right there to the courtyard, so it's very social there with the courtyard. Um, and this is, uh, you know, this is where the guys have five TVs on this wall behind me. Uh, a little whiskey bar right there where Bob, Bob's at. Of course. And uh, you know, Bob, Bob's And uh, this is this is kind of a cool little guys hang out to figure up the game after the after uh, the Friday afternoon outing and then um, move on over to the courtyard or, or into the restaurant to eat. But it's going to be lockers here? Not lockers here. Okay. This uh, shoe room here. So uh, members will leave their shoes underneath uh, their locker or underneath the bench out in front of their locker. that will have a tag on it. Uh, the attendant will come, grab them, fix them up, and then when you're here the next time they'll be uh, exactly the way you want and then so the wet areas with the showers and the, you know, and the, and the vanity and everything else. And we'll also have some, some alternate uses occasionally. So this is the golf simulator room. So you'll walk into this room and then you have some nice windows out to the front there, but the golf will hit this way. So Danny will hit from this side, the oh, yeah. window. And the right hand player will hit here. And then we have some soft seating behind the golf sim and uh, a little putting green out to this side uh, that we'll add to the golf feature. So you play and you'll have a little little putting green in here. Attic issues in, or, uh, programmatic targets in here where we'll be able to do uh, some Manny Petty service and some spa type features in here. Uh, should, a, should a member wedding um, uh, happen here and, and out on the event lawn, this is where the, the, uh, the ladies might get, get ready. So welcome to the parlor. This is what we, uh, it's current name, so we change, we refer to it as the parlor. Uh, for the families, uh, Corey is a, uh, Corey's bartending right now. He's dead center, bartending. Uh, and when I say bar, this is a ice cream soda fountain location. Um, uh, it does have a little um, opportunity to have wine and beer under the counter. Um, any of the other beverages that might want to Way it will come, come from up above, uh, but um, we recognize sometimes that parenting requires <laughs> medication. <laughs> uh, but uh, we got a great spot here. Uh, 
nice entrance of a patio out here. I love a little uh, outdoor ping pong table and I think some nerd uh, gaming activities out this way. Uh, the bowling is behind you. Um, uh, the duck pin bowling alley, which is uh, about 30 feet from foul line head pin, uh, which is uh, which will function as a fun little gaming spot. I think it's going to be very popular. Um, should should be a great little gathering. Uh, the media room is behind you here, a uh, really nice size here, just a place to watch the Hawks game. We've got uh, a couple of Xbox consoles and some interactive gaming coming into that, that area, as well as maybe some uh, traditional, uh, like the GameWorks four-seat Pac-Man. I don't know if you've ever seen those. It'll kind of sit in behind the couch there. Uh, so it's a very, very cool area. Uh, restrooms down here, which is not, not the sexy part of it, but... Uh, Definitely have restrooms down here for this facility. And then uh, you know, a little magic will happen here in the craft room, which is not just for the kids, uh, it's for everybody. Uh, we'll have uh, ladies sipping paint and uh, some other soft programming in this area that we kind of dual use the hill out for now. That'll all move into here. So some nice cabinetry on that wall, uh, some great place to sit. Um, and it'll also kind of uh, function as some dining area when we're not using it as craft. Cool little spot down here. Uh, in, in forest words, it's jewel box. This is the, the family jewel box here. Great view out here as usual. Um, so we look, we look forward to having this online and 